Nation, what's up? It's Ashley, Optic Midnight, bringing you another commentary. This time we got some sniper gameplay over the map Wasteland. Um, I believe this was one of the first games, actually the first game, one of, well wait, it was like a game or two into the first uh, games of my day. And so my shot isn't exactly on, but it isn't exactly off, but I get a pretty decent score. And um, the reason I wanted to upload it was because it was against um, a lot of red gunners. And you guys seem to pay attention to the gameplay and see that, um, you know, some of the gameplay is against a lot of snipers. And this was a gameplay that was done against a lot of red gunners. I think I only get sniped one time and it was kind of gay when I do, but whatever. Um, gameplay is not really important. I mean, it's just something you watch, but I think that you guys more or less come here and watch the video for the commentary. I'm hoping, um, this commentary I want to just say right before I go looking through the comment section and seeing the highest rated comment being like, Oh my god, is this Justin Bieber or a girl? I'm a girl. Um, I've been in Optic for over a year now. I've been in Optic for a year and some, ask, some people ask me, how did you get into optic? Acting like that's the hardest part about getting into optic. The hardest part about being an optic is staying an optic. It takes a lot of hard work and I've had a lot of fun here. Um, and I don't know, I basically, I was just thinking about it today and actually the other day, thinking of all the memories I have of being an optic and even before that, like why I'm really doing this YouTube stuff. So I thought I would talk about like my memories of, uh, you know, where I started and why I actually started doing this YouTube stuff. Uh, just so you guys can get a little insight as to why I make these videos for you guys to watch. Because it's, you know, you don't meet someone every day that just makes videos for YouTube and, you know, has a large following like this. So I thought it would be an interesting subject. Um, back when I was in elementary school, I was in fourth grade. Um, I wasn't able to play any sports, so I basically decided that I wanted to do something like some sort of activity at school. You know, I wanted to do something because it's boring if you don't, and you, and you know, it's a good way to make friends, blah, blah, blah. And I saw this little like advertisement in the media center for being in the video club, and I thought, wow, video club, like, that sounds kind of lame. Like, I don't want to be the lame kid that goes to video club, you know? But actually, the this is going to sound really dumb, but the boy I liked was going to join Video Club 2. And he was like the most popular kid, whatever, blah, blah. I was like, oh, I want to join Video Club 2. So the reason I joined Video Club was kind of dumb. But once I did, I learned a lot. I mean, I'm only in fourth grade, first of all. So, you know, they're not really teaching you things that are very, um, you know, high in the degree of video making and all that stuff, production. But it was something. It was a start. And it was the... It was the match that ignited my flame for, um, you know, video making, producing, doing stuff like that. And ever since then, you know, I, I, I took film class in high school um, and I had a lot of fun doing that. It's something I've always enjoyed doing. I have, I'm not even ever going to show them, but I have countless home movies of horror movies and just weird movies that I made with my friends and like we'd have little plots and little like, you know, um, like scenes or whatever from a movie and I was just really into it like I've always been into this kind of stuff right so when I came across I was actually why I came to YouTube I was looking to get better I believe that most people come to YouTube to get better I came during the when Modern Warfare 2 just came out I actually the first YouTuber I ever started watching was Spexo123 he's not really very known and he's um, not one of my favorite commentators, but he was the first YouTube videos I started watching because he came up in the search. And so he was talking about a, one of his commentaries about only use me Blade, and I'm like, that sounds like a cool guy. So I start watching Blade, and once I start watching Blade, my eyes are open to the whole community. Hutch, Sinez, I started watching all those guys right away. And I actually started watching Hutch the most, and when I started watching Hutch, I was like, Wow, this dude is freaking playing the game. I like playing the game. You know, you get a get a little gameplay. You know, throw it down. Put some put some of your voice over it. And actually, it's a really cool way to like communicate with people. And you know, reading the comment section must be so cool. And so, I I started with an easy cap, and I came here. I ended up here somehow. I got recruited into Optic when I had an easy cap. I'm not even I don't even remember how. <laughs> I know it was it's pretty crazy. So. I don't know, I just kind of talk about, like, not like I sat at home when I was in fourth grade, I was like, my dream is to be a famous YouTuber one day. Number one, I don't consider myself quote-unquote famous because it's YouTube, um, and number two, you know, you never think about where your life is going to take you, you know, as far as your dreams. Like, maybe 
my dream is still to be a filmmaker, a producer. Maybe I'm going to go to film school and I'm going to actually fulfill my dream. It's something I really want to do. Is it possible? Yes. And it, it's my dream. So um, I guess I just want to know what your guys' dream is, you know, whether it has anything to do with YouTube or maybe, you know, you want to be like a professional athlete or you want to be a lawyer or something. I don't know, something. You know, what's your dream? Is your dream to like go big in music or, you know, anything? Just let me know what your guys' dreams are in the comment section. Um, and you know how you want to achieve that because it's definitely possible if I can go from making horror movies in my backyard with my friends in like fifth grade to actually producing content for YouTube and looking to go to film school I'm, I'm pretty sure my, my dream is not achieved but it's getting there so it's definitely possible to to do whatever you want with your life so yeah inspiring words from Optic Midnight I know um, and yeah, so this commentary is going to wrap up soon. I'm sorry my voice is a little rough. I have a little bit of a sore throat. I don't know why. Um, usually my voice is softer and more pleasing, but hey, you know, can't win them all. Um, and one last thing before I go, I uploaded another episode. I need you guys' help. I need some, uh, some critique on it because, you know, I'm kind of new to the whole montage scene. So I'll put my channel and the episode in the description. Please go check it out and uh, tell me what you think. Give the bit a like, guys. Peace. <laughs>